Last week, your Chicago Grookies got their butts handed to them by A12. But this week, we're taking on Muffins, coach of the Muffins Mudkips, and I'm hoping we can do a lot better. Taking a look at their team, they have one of the scariest Terra Captains in Annihilate, as it can get very much out of control with its Rage Fist plus bulk up sets. Latios is a great pivot for their team, and Calm Mindsets also look very scary for me. They have Scizor, which is one of two Defoggers alongside Cramoran, which I know is one of Muffin's favorite Pokemon to use. Vaporeon can be very annoying for my team with Wish Passing and Haze to stop Primarina, Deancey which can set up Hazards and boost itself with Diamond Storm and use Body Press. Kilowattril is faster than my entire team, and it's actually really good as a pivot because it can hit a lot of my Mon super effectively this week. Porygon 2 is probably the most annoying Pokemon with its trace ability, being able to trace things like Good as Gold, Poison Heal, Natural Cure, and even Regenerator from Cyclozar. Throughout the team, he has Vileplume, Delphox, and Crocodile. Crocodile being probably the scariest out of them with its Moxie sets, or it can even be an Intimidate lead set with Stealth Rocks. So taking a look at our team, first up we have Substitute Calm Mind Primarina. Now I plan on this being our win con this week, as it has an excellent matchup into Muffin's team. Our other two moves are just Sparkling Aria and Moonblast for some dual stab, and we're holding the leftovers so we can get as much recovery as possible since we're going to be clicking Substitute. We have almost max HP and almost max special attack, and enough speed on here to outspeed Vaporeon just so that it can't be faster and click Haze before we can land a hit. The only Pokemon on their team that counters this is Vileplume, which I'm really not expecting to come as Goldengo has an excellent matchup into Vileplume. It pretty much comes in for free at that point. Speaking of Goldengo, we are rocking that with a Kassib Berry this week. Kassib Berry makes it so you take less damage from Ghost-type moves because I am very worried about Annihilate in this matchup. I'm expecting either a Terra Ghost, Poison, or Water to come. All three of those look pretty good into my team, and we're running a very standard set from on Goldengo from there. Make it Rain, Shadow Ball, Recover, Nasty Plot with max HP, max defense, and this just makes it so we can take two Rage Fists from Annihilate, the first one being a 50 base power hit, and the second one being a 100 base power hit, since we have to damage it, and it's going to get stronger. As I mentioned at the start, they only have two Defoggers, neither of which look too great into my team, so we're bringing Gliscor, Toxic Orb with Poison Heal, with Spikes, Earthquake, Knockoff, and Protect. I got a guarantee to get that Toxic Orb. I don't want to get knocked off from something like Crocodile or Scizor. And we're running this mainly specially defensive. We have a little bit of defense on there to be able to take hits from Annihilate, but I mainly wanted to have this be like a Latio switch in since we're rocking the Terra Dark. The idea behind this was they can't click Luster Purge against me with Terra Dark, they have to click Draco Meteor. And from there, that allows Primarina to come out for free and get a free substitute or call Mind off. In our fourth slot, we have Rotom rocking the heavy duty boots so that it doesn't take any hazard damage if DNC is able to get Stealth Rocks up. Same with Crocodile. We're rocking Overheat, Volt Switch, Thunder Wave, and Pain Split with max speed to be able to outspeed a Cramorant, and we have just enough special attack to be able to KO a max HP Cramorant with Volt Switch. I thought that this looked so good this week since it threatens both of their defoggers. I initially had Will-O-Wisp over Thunder Wave to be able to threaten Annihilate, but I realized in Mox that Latios was very freely able to come in on Rotom, so I threw Thunder Wave on there instead to be able to get a Paralyze on that, essentially crippling it in case it's like a Calm Mindset, it wouldn't be able to do that anymore. And and then Pain Split, like I said, just to stay healthy, and it's very good against Annihilate since it has such a high HP stat. Bring in a Choice Band Lycanroc. I think it looks pretty good in this matchup. Close Combat, Psychic Fangs, Crunch, and a Cell Rock. A Cell Rock's just really great for picking off any weakened Pokemon, whether it be Latias, Cramorant, or even Scizor, since I will outspeed its Bullet Punch. Crunch is there to hit Delphox and Latios. Psychic Fangs is for Annihilate pre-Terra, but it also hits Vileplume, and if they have screens, it does break those. And then finally, Close Combat hits Porygon as well as Crocodile. And finally, we have Conkeldur rocking the Guts Flame Orb set. This is just an awesome wall breaker. We have Drain Punch, Knock Off, Earthquake, and Mock Punch. Drain Punch hits Crocodile as well as Porygon 2 extremely hard, and even things like Scizor and Deancey. Earthquake is there for Delphox. It also hits uh, Scizor in case I don't want to risk clicking it into Annihilate, which Earthquake also hits Annihilate. And then Knockoff is there for Latios. And then Mach Punch is just good priority as always. 
That is our team for week four of the BBR. If you enjoy, please drop a like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 300 subscribers by the end of the year, so every single subscriber counts. Please check out Muffin's YouTube channel. I will have it linked down in the description. He makes awesome content, not just of Pokemon Draft Leagues, but he also does Nuzlocking content, which I highly recommend. And finally, I want to give a huge shout out to AP, BP, Matt, Tog, Tom, and Kyle for helping me prep and mock this week. Without further ado, let's get into the game. Okay, so we see Porygon, Annihilate, DNC, Latios, Cramorant, and Scizor. So I'm very glad to see no Vaporeon. Let me put DNC on here. Whoops. And then I expected the Cramorant a little bit, but at the same time, its matchup's not great into me. So I'd rather take Cramorant over Crocodile. So, okay. All right. Um, does that change my gl Gliscor lead at all here? I don't think so. I think I still lead it. Uh, we have Rotom with Thunder Wave to pair a Lottie. I like this. All right, let's just give it a second here, and then we will get started. Doesn't look like he has a dedicated lead or anything, and if he does, he's waiting on it. We might see Deancey uh, try to get Hazards up right away. Do I fear, like, a Calm Mindset? No, I have... Dango. Okay. Whew. Nervous. Definitely nervous. Terra Water. That's not too bad, actually. Like, I, I don't mind that. I was expecting Water or Poison. Even Terra Ghost didn't look too, too scary. Um, Ideally, that's a choice to Latios. That would be great. Oh, he's running out of time. He doesn't know what to do here. All right, there he goes. All right. Good luck to Muffin. We uh, we just played somewhat recently in the VDL uh, finals, where I came out on top. I think 2-0. Really, really close game. Um, but this is this is different playing ground here. This this matters. All right, so he leads with Porygon. So that means that I have to Terra pretty much. Oh my God, he's download. He's download. That's fucking crazy because I was expecting it to be Trace for good as gold, poison heal. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> that's that's actually kind of crazy. He got a special attack raise, though, which I don't like to see. But um, let's just see what he wants to do. Let's not, like, Terra right away. Let's just, uh, let's just see. Download is so crazy, though. I was not expecting that at all. That's so much better for me, though. Like, in a sense. Because I can still status it and stuff like that if uh, it copies good as gold. If I would have had uh, Toxic, that would have been fantastic. Alright, so he just goes for a try attack. Alright, so I think I'm just going to go out into Goldengo here, right? Because if he has Ice Beam, I can still scout that. What's a plus one Porygon 2? So Porygon 2 with download so it's plus one special attack into goldango if he's shadow ball yeah it's not doing too much versus like a try attack into gliscor would do a lot i could also just get up a spike Hmm, I'm torn. I, I kind of want to go Goldango, but I also don't do much to it. Yeah, let's just... Actually, I'm going to knock off. I'm just going to remove its Eviolite. I think that's a better play. So we've seen Tri-Attack, which that, at plus one, if it's non-offensive, it's doing uh, 48 to 57%. So we'll see here. We will see. Okay, so we are faster. We're going to knock this down. So, Eviolite knocked off. And it's down to about 75%. And he does just choose to try attack. And that knocks me down to uh, 172. Which, that did 51. So, that's non-invested. Okay. I'm just going to protect here to get some health back. And then we'll go Goldango after, depending what he decides to do here. So he just stays in. And goes for Discharge. Okay. So...
So, do I still want to go out into that, or do I go Rotom? I could also go Conkelder. What's like Conkelder taken from this? So we we've seen Discharge. So Conkelder. No, we're not taking that. And then Goldango. Goldango kind of eats. And then we do a lot back with Make It Rain, especially at plus two. And we are Cassie Berry. So if he has Shadow Ball, we can take that. So let's make the swap into Goldango here. And we can just... I, I don't want to say freely Nasty Pop, but we get one off. Okay, that's huge. Free swap. So now we definitely get off a nasty plot here in front of this thing. And at plus two, we're going to KO this. Even if it's... Let me make sure if it's like max spadef. Yeah, we, we always... Not always, there's a roll. But we have a good chance of KOing this at plus two. And I don't think he has a great swap into this. Maybe Scizor? Choice Man Scizor would do a lot. Um, I was originally Colber, but because of Annihilate, we swapped to Kasib because that was such a threat. Okay, so he stays in. So he's probably going to go for either Shadow Ball or he's going to go for a Discharge Para. He goes for Discharge. Don't Para. Don't Para. Let's go, Goldango. Let's go. All right. This is going to be a huge Make It Rain. It'll KO this. And if I can get rid of this Pokemon, that's huge for me. And I want to keep Cramorant on his side alive so that I can set up in front of it with uh, Lottie. Because that's how Lottie wins this game. It's either setting up in front of that or DNC. Or even to weaken Latios if it clips Draco. Which is part of the reason I went for Terra Dark on Gliscor was that he couldn't just spam Psychic moves into me. So, this is looking like a pretty good position here. I'm so shocked to download. I mean, the plus one like helped him a lot here. It, it applied some pressure, but I was very much expecting Trace. Okay, so that is going down. So, Goldengo KOs P2 with Make It Rain. All right. That's a huge threat to get rid of just immediately. And it not like too much of a cost either. All right. He goes right out into Scizor here. So, we are going to make the hard swap out into Conkelder. Or we can also go Rotom. But I'm not too upset if I lose my Flame Orb. Because knockoff's coming out here, 100%. Um, and I think I'm more punished by losing my boots if DNC decides to set up than I am losing my Flame Orb. I could also go Gliscor, because Gliscor doesn't care to lose its its Toxic Orb, and then I can pivot from there. Because they're not going to click knockoff into me twice. I don't think that's a bad pivot, and it gives me information. I'm going to go Gliscor here. Because he 100% goes for knockoff. So let me go Gliscor. And how much health am I at? I'm at 260. Into Scizor. I go down to 210. So I did 50 points of damage. Which... Takes me from 74 to 59. So that did... That's not Choice Bandit or anything like that. I don't even think that's offensive. Let's just see what he wants to do. Let's just protect. We'll scout. Uh, I'm not scared of Swords Dance here. Okay, so he just chooses to U-turn. Okay, so we've seen knockoff, and we've seen U-turn. I just want to investigate that damage roll that that did. So... That did 15%. Oh, wait, Terra, let me mark the Terra Dark. That would help. Hmm, interesting. Okay, I don't exactly know what his set is, because... Did about 15, but Knockoff does 14 max, so that's interesting. Um, okay, we're just going to go... I think Rotom gets me more than Conkelder does, because Conkelder can at least threaten Latios with a Thunder Wave is to where I just have to swap with Conkelder. In this U-turn, we're going to eat this U-turn up. 
Okay, so that took me from full to 229. So 294 to 229. That did about 22%. So that's about max attack adamant. So, uh, let me write that down. Max attack adamant. He doesn't like this Pokemon. If Annihilate or Lottie come off, I let off a Thunder Wave. If Deancey comes out, I Volt Switch. And Cramorant's not coming out, that's for sure. I want to try to get a Spike up if possible. But I don't think I can just get one off freely in front of anything. I could have in front of Porygon if it wasn't download. Um, hmm, it's hard to say what he's going to go into here. Rotom's kind of a difficult Pokemon. I'm hoping he goes Lottie, though. I guess, what does he fear more? Does he fear a Will-O-Wisp, or does he fear a Thunder Wave? Alright, what do we see? What do we see? Okay. So, granted, hopefully this isn't Substitute. But I'm going to let off a Thunder Wave here. If it is Sub, we go Gliscor. Okay, so we call Mines. So, please land this Rotom. This would be massive for me. Oh, mind. Okay, huge, huge, huge. So this is a paralyzed Lottie. Okay, so what do I want to go into against this is a great question. Latios. Paralyzed. I want to just see, like, how slow this thing is. It hits 175, which means our conch is not going to be faster. So it's literally just, yeah, so everything else on our team. Oh, Pre-Marina is not going to be faster either, but not that that matters all that much. Um, I can just freely Volt Switch here and see what he wants to do. Well, I mean, he, I'm going to go first, unfortunately. Um, but I can see if he wants to stay in. And then... Part of me just wants to go Gliscor on this, but it's hard to say. I am going to Volt Switch, though. Okay, so he opts to stay in. How much does a Gliscor knockoff do to this? Not quite in range at the moment. But then it's in range of anything on the follow-up, and I think I still need Goldango for Annihilate. Because that Pokemon is a huge threat to me. So yeah, let's go Gliscor here. Gliscor is like the, the least valuable member, I would say. Um, huge. Okay. And I knew that was a possibility. So at plus one, I do die to a Draco if it's Soldu. But if it's not Soldu, I pretty much always live. I'm going to go for a knockoff, though. It's huge against any Pokemon that wants to come out here. And if I can remove this, that's massive. Because there's always a chance of, like, full para, stuff like that. And who knows? It might even be Dragon Pulse. Which I definitely take a Dragon Pulse, even if it's Soul Dew. So he swaps. That is massive for us. And what do we see come out here? Okay, so Scizor just comes back out. And we're going to remove this thing's item. Removed. Let's see. Black glasses. That's why I couldn't figure out why it did so much with knockoff. That makes sense. Okay, and so based off of that damage, we did about a little over 25%. Is that max HP? That looks like max HP. Mm, that's got some defense on there, too. A little bit of a bulkier build on that. Um, I think I always just go back out into Rotom though on this, and I just freely. I see. I can't say freely Volt Switch because of uh, Annihilate. I can't just give that a free boost. All right. I think we we still go Rotom though. I could also let off an Overheat, but I don't think that's the play. Pain Split also isn't a, a horrible option. Let me drop this scissor down to 75%. So just decide to see you turn. Okay. Um, I don't know what he would want to go out in here to. Like, maybe back out into Lottie? Maybe? 
But I just pain split on whatever comes out. I'm everything else is a lot healthier than I am. If we see Annihilate, I go for another Thunder Wave. Um, if we see DNC, we Volt Switch. Gramorant, we Volt Switch. Yeah, he does not like Rotom in this game. Paralyzing Latios was huge, though. I had Will-O-Wisp up until like an hour before this match. And then I was like, you know, Latios comes in on Rotom so easily. Let's just paralyze it. And, I mean, shit, it's, it's working out, so... Okay, so this is Latios coming back out. Okay. Um, I'm going to pain split once and see what it wants to do. Because I'll get a decent amount of health back from this. And then if they just call mind. All right, let's see. So that knocks it down to about 75%. And he just drops a Draco. Which does take me out. Now, I want to see if I can find any information about that. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Does this mean Prim just gets to come in? And just sub? I think it does. It might be a little early for this, but this also is such a threat to his team. So we're just going to sub up once. And then I can call mind in front of Cramrant. I can call mind in front of DNC. And I'm not worried about Scizor. It's really the Annihilate that concerns me here. Um, but with Terra Water, it's a lot more manageable. I just have to... God, a Moonblast drop would be so bad. Giving it a Defiant Raise. So let's look. Pre-Marina into Annihilate. With Terra Water, it plus one... Oh, I'm not even two at KOing it at plus one. Plus two, I do. All right, what do we got here? This is Scizor. So, Scizor does always break my sub with a bullet punch. But it's fine, because we're going to get a big sparkling Aria off. I don't think it's worth going for Calm Mind at this point. I think I can get one off later. But this is a huge threat to him. So let's look. Scizor. Yeah, Bullet Punch is always going to break this. Need to write down. Latios, KO'd. Uh, Rotom with Draco. Okay, I'm going to go out to Conkeldur now on this. I don't want to take unnecessary damage when this Pokemon is so valuable to me. God, getting up a spike in this game will be so good. I just have not gotten the chance to at all. And this, uh, this is, or is it like, what, 20%, give or take? I didn't actually see how much we did to it. All right. So we're pro we probably just see another Bullet Punch come out here. Maybe a knockoff. Um, which would kind of suck, but it's not the end of the world. Okay, no, it's just another bullet punch. Which does a ton of damage. Okay. Um, do I want to mock punch just on the off chance that he goes for, like, a dual wing beat? Because that would kind of suck. No, he has to have defog as his last move. He has to. I'm going to EQ. Because he's knockoff, U-turn, bullet punch. And, yeah, I just, I see Defog being a thing. If he has dual wing, be great play. Great prep. But I'm not, I don't see it happening here. Spikes are a huge problem for his team. That anti-spikes. So, I could, I could imagine him. Yeah. So, we're fine there. Okay. So, Conk, KOs, Scizor, with EQ. Alright, a little bit of a back and forth game right now. But, we take down two huge threats and if annihilate wants to come out let me take a look here annihilate into conkelder at plus one because i assume they're faster and get a bulk up off we're still doing like 30 to 40 percent and that's if he's max hp so i i would just i'm just gonna let this go down at this point 
If Lottie comes out, I could make the swap to Gliscor. We've just seen we've seen Luster Purge, we've seen Draco, and we've seen Calm Mind from it. So it's probably last move recover, if I had to guess. I am worried about a late game at Iolape, though. That is that is something I need to be concerned about. I still have my Kasib Berry on Goldango, which is nice. But it's like, do I want to give it a Rage Fist boost? But I also just don't want to allow it to set up for free. Okay, we see Cramorant come out. Okay. More than anything, I kind of want to know what this wants to do. I feel like I can go Prim, but I don't think that is something I should risk. I think I just let this go down, and I... How much am I doing with a Mach Punch? Like, is it worth that, or should I, like... Ram... Cramorant. I do about 20%. Brave Bird's going to KO. Brave Bird also just hurts Prim a lot. Goldango kind of sits on this thing, though, actually. I'm going to go Goldango. I can get a Recover off for free, pretty much. Two Surfs won't even KO me. And I'm assuming he Brave Bird's here. Oh, he goes for Surf. Okay. Ooh, goddamn. Wait a minute. 235 to 103. So I went from 62% to 27. God damn. Okay. Well, that wasn't a good swap. I'm going to go pre-marina here. That's an offensive Cramorant for sure. Pre-marina. 313 to 265. They did about 13%, so it's not choice in any way. Brave Birds are gonna do a lot. We're gonna sub here. In case maybe he's not Brave Bird, maybe he's like Air Slash. Yeah, why is this Pokemon actually like putting in some work? Okay, so he withdraws. So we're gonna get a free substitute off here. Okay, out into Deancey. So now we're just going to start Calm Minding in front of this. And we're getting some nice leftovers recovery, which we, we need after Cramorant. My goodness. All right, so let's Calm Mind here, and we'll see what this wants to do. If it's not Diamond Storm, I think we're in a pretty good position. Deancey. Yeah, Diamond Storms are doing a good chunk, but it plus one, we're almost KOing it. No, he's Moonblast. Oh my goodness. Wait a minute now, Pre Marina. Wait a minute. This might just be it. Prim might just get set up and win. Let's go for another one here, and that should put us in KO range of most things, or at least two at KO range. Okay, so that should break our sub here. Yep, so we're just going to put up another one this turn, and then we're just going to start clicking moves. This is, this is looking so strong. Alright, so let's sub up. So I'm at plus two Spadef, plus two special attack into DNC with Moonblast. How much is that doing? Okay, so they swap. So what comes out here? This is Annihilate.
if he's faster and doesn't have something like Poison Jab, like, Rage Fist is not a guarantee to break this sub. Which is massive for me. Alright, let's Moon Blast. And I think even after he breaks the sub, I don't want to let this go down. Because this just sets up in front of Deancey for, for free. Deancey can't do anything to me. Okay, so he goes for his Terra Water here, which makes sense. Um, he does take this. It does 59 to 70. And like I said, if he's faster, Rage Fist does not... It, it might not break. Which would be massive. Damn, okay. So it might be a bulkier one, or a more offensive one, I mean, instead of bulky. Oh my god, Primarina. That was not a bulky Annihilate at all. Holy shit. He just dropped that Annihilate. Prim KOs Ape with Moonblast. Okay. So now we see Lottie come out. I just sub, right? I'm just clicking sub. Because all it can do is Luster Purge, right? Oh, and we are faster, so this is a slower Lottie. He called mines himself, but I don't think that's going to matter. I think Prim just wins here. Especially because we're faster. I, If he was max speed, which I expected him to be to speed tie with Lycanroc, um, I wouldn't outspeed because I hit 171, he would hit 175. But yeah, he must not be max speed. So this is going to KO here. Prim KOs Latios with Moonblast. That is just game, I believe. Hell yeah. Dude, I knew Call Mind Primarina was going to be so, 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 so strong in this game. But I also expected it to be a bulkier Annihilate. And a lot of my mocks, I couldn't go for this until I got that KO'd. But that was not the case in this matchup. So that's huge. Um, I think that if this Cramorant would have had Brave Bird, it would have been a lot more problematic. But I don't think it does. I don't think he would have swapped on... Um, on it earlier if he did. Yeah, he's Hurricane. I think this is Choiced. Cram Ramp, by the way. Oh, it didn't even break the sub. Prim KOs Cram with Moonblast. And then Prim KOs DNC with Sparkling Aria. Because that's not going to live a hit. Huge, huge, huge. Good games to Muffin. Um... Annihilate and Latios are so hard to prep for, especially with Porygon being a really good defensive, uh, like, pivot into a lot of my Pokemon, like Goldango, um, and Gliscor as well, because if I would have ran Toxic, it would just get a Toxic, or a Poison Heal off by tracing it, or if it traced good as gold, I couldn't trick it, or, or anything like that, so that made it really difficult in prep, but nonetheless, I knew that Primarina was going to be a huge problem. His team doesn't have really good answers to it. I think one of the best being Vileplume, but Vileplume can't do anything to Goldango. So once again, GG's to Muffin. Check out his channel. I will have it linked down in this in the description. And if you enjoy, please drop a like and subscribe. I'm trying to hit 300 subs by the end of the year, so every sub counts. That's about all I have for you guys. Peace out.